Oh, look at that, pretty nice, isn't it? Hey guys, it's Blade again from Car Audio Security. Today we're looking at the SPH DA360 Dab by Pioneer. Okay guys, so the SPH DA360 DAB, what do we have here? So this is an entry level uh, CarPlay and Android Auto unit from Pioneer, which we've just had land brand new. Now, this one is special because this is wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto for a very, very competitive price. It's actually the cheapest CarPlay, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto unit on the market on our website today. So it makes it very, very competitive. Now also, obviously you have your standard features, your Bluetooth, uh, streaming, hands-free calls, DAV radio, uh, USB, AUX, camera input, all of the rest of the bits. Uh, but let's open up the box and I'll show you the contents, we'll go from there. Okay, so we have everything laid out in front of us. Let's go through what we have. So first of all, in front of me here, we have a little connection which is an auxiliary input. So if you've got an audio source in, you can use that. Plugs directly in the back of the stereo with that white plug there. This here is a USB extension. There's a female USB socket at the back of the unit, which I'll show you in a second. This will allow you to extend the USB around to your glove box or armrest, wherever you want to put it. Uh, this here is your microphone, standard issue Pioneer Bluetooth microphone. Clip it up to your sun visor or headlining so the people on the other side of the calls can hear you. This is your main harness. It's a direct connection to the back of the stereo to ISO. This here is your GPS antenna. Uh, this one comes with a separate GPS antenna, so it's more accurate for your uh, maps on CarPlay and Android Auto. You have a little bag of screws. Uh, the removal keys for this cage. This connection here is your rear view camera input, uh, a mute wire and steering wheel control input, again on a little white plug for the back of the unit. You've got some little sticky pads to hold in the wires, and then you have your RCA outputs, so pre-outs for front, rear, and sub, as well as a rear monitor output, so you can add a second screen to the vehicle. And then you have the trim that sits over the face of the stereo once it's done, and you have the instruction manuals. Make sure you read these, very important instruction manuals. And then you have the body of the stereo itself. Okay, so the body of the stereo itself, let's run quickly through what we have in front of us. So it is a 6.8 inch across capacitive touchscreen on this unit, meaning that it's a lot more touch responsive than a standard resistive touchscreen. And then you have, you can't see them at the moment, but once it's powered on, you will have touch buttons down the side uh, and you have a little reset button at the top there. Now, obviously this cage is removable. You can fit a flush fit cage or an adjustable cage if you need to, three quarter depth. So it's not fully, I'd say, probably come out to about here for a full size and it's not a short chassis it's three quarters now on the back of the unit very very minimalistic on the back it keeps things nice and simple so over on this side we have the USB female USB which I mentioned earlier you have an extension for that to go to your glove box or armrest you have your main power connection with a little 10 amp fuse next to it uh, you have your input connections here for all the little wires that I showed you earlier you have a microphone input this is your GPS antenna input. Uh, this little black node comes off. That gives you your DAB aerial connection. And then underneath there is your FM aerial connection. So like I said, very simple on the back of the unit. It's not too much going on. Uh, so that's it really for the physical side of things. So we'll power it on and show you the actual features of the stereo. Three, two, one, go. So units on. So that first start up did take a little while, uh, but like I say, it will, fast, it will be a bit faster when the uh, unit has been plugged in and working for a few times. Okay, so on the home screen here, it's a standard issue Pioneer stereo, the new layout. So uh, everything's as it should be. So over on the left here, you've got DAB uh, radio, so you can go into there. You can go into your radio station. It's going to try and tune. We don't need that. So that's your radio stations, you can set your presets, multiple presets you can choose from, and then obviously you'll have a list here as well. Okay, so over to the right, you have your normal radio. So that's your FM and AM. So you have FM one, two, and three. And you click again, and get into AM, that's one and two. 
Obviously, again, you'll have your presets down the bottom and you have all your separate connections for uh, local stations, all that kind of thing. Let's go back. Obviously, down the side here, I'm using the, the your main button. So obviously, that's your power button at the top. You've got a home button. You've got a voice command and volume up and down. So it's very simple, same as all the others. Um, over here, we have Apple CarPlay. That's currently grayed out as we don't have an Apple device connected. But on, next to that, we have Android Auto. So that is currently connected to my phone wirelessly. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Down the bottom, these are all grayed out again because they're not connected. But you have USB connection. So anything connected for MP3, USB will be on there. iPod connection, again, if you've got an iPod connected, it will come up there. Uh, Bluetooth audio, uh, again, Bluetooth audio is good streaming your music. Your phone, Bluetooth phone calls, you'll have your phone book on there as well. You swipe across, you have auxiliary input if you've got an auxiliary source coming in. A rear view camera connection, again, if you have a rear view camera connected to the back of the unit, you can view it directly from there. Uh, mirroring and web link. So, just going to show you how the Android Auto side of things works. So, I've got an Android Samsung phone here. Uh, so we'll show you the wired connection. Uh, this will also allow you to set up the wireless connection as well. Then we'll show you the screen mirroring. But we have the USB-C connected to USB in the back of the unit. I'm going to plug it in. So we'll charge the phone. So automatically it will go into Android Auto for you. It's very quick, um, easy to use. So obviously you can go, go home. Sorry, go home. And then you can go into whatever you need to. Spotify, Waze, your phone book, whatever you need to. And then if we come out, we unplug and we go into Android Auto again, it should automatically connect itself because once you've plugged it in, it will pair to the device via Bluetooth as long as your Bluetooth is on and also the Wi-Fi will pair as well. So as you can see, no cable, but the Android Auto is connected. Okay, now to show you the screen mirroring, we plug our phone back in, make sure it's connected. And we'll come out of the CarPlay, the Android Auto, sorry. And we'll scroll across to mirroring and we want to click OK. Do, do you want to disconnect Android Auto and connect mirroring? OK. There we go. So it's going to give you start recording car, or casting with auto link. So this is an app already based on the phone. So you want to start now. And then obviously you need to make sure you connect the handbrake cable. So I'm just going to connect that up very quickly here. There we go. So as you can see, it's screen mirroring. So if we go, I can actually do it from the screen here. So we go into YouTube. And then if you turn the phone, just wait for this ad to go. If you turn the phone sideways, it's very smooth and silk, slick. Um, but you can literally watch anything, not just YouTube. You can go through the phone as you need to from from the device but obviously it's going to be very small so it's not the best for maps but for uh, viewing videos or anything like that it's very handy for that okay so we have an iphone here just going to show you how the wireless carplay side of thing works now obviously the wired side you just plug your cable in as normal but for the wireless i'm going to show you how it works so if we go into settings go down to general and then go into carplay You'll then search for the device, so we have it here, SPHDA360 DAB, so click on there. So we want to pair to the device, yes, yes. Allow contact sync. And then yes, I'm here. Give it a second to load, and there we go. Easy as that, you now have CarPlay wireless on the device, so you can go into your maps, Listen to music as you need to. It's very smooth and slick. So it's very, very handy to have. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video for the brand new Pioneer SPHDA360 DAB. Uh, now, this unit is very, very good for the money. I mean, this is currently on our website at 449.99. Yes, you did hear me correctly, 449.99. That is the cheapest price we've ever had for a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto unit uh, to date. Um, I can't see anything coming close to that. Very, very good price for the unit. So I can't see these sticking around for very long. So make sure you grab one when you can. Um, now this is available on our website at Cardi Security and our sister company, The Tuning Store. So make sure you check it out. Links will be down below. Um, now my personal opinion on this unit, like I said, very, very good for the price. You can't really knock it. Um, it's not the most smooth unit in the world. It's not the most technical, uh, but it gives you a lot for your money at the end of the day. So I'm, I quite like it for that. 
Uh, now, that's pretty much it from me. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We will see you in the next video.